this picture is my grandpa, and he's 99 years old. And he's been in my care this week until Friday when my Aunt Kay showed up. Hallelujah. But, um, and, my uncle, and my cousin Luke is doing great. And he's, but um, during the day, it was my job to make sure he lived. And that was a big, big job. No, but, um, and I have cousin Sarah helped, and it, it went really well. But um, uh, I would go up and feed him lunch, which he was usually very disappointed in. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and so I'd be like, aren't you going to eat anything? And he didn't really want to eat. But on Friday, we went up, and I couldn't find him at first, but then I saw, because it was like 50 degrees, beautiful that day, he was out in the sun. And um, I had this brilliant idea of what to make him for lunch. I was like, because we have controlled his diet for a while, and I'm sure you all know that. But anyway, um, I looked in my fridge, and I'm like, what am I going to feed him? He hasn't eaten anything for me all week. Um, and I saw I have bread, and I have bacon. This is going to be good. I'm going to make this guy a BLT today. And I went up there and go, do you want a BLT? And he goes, oh, you know, I guess, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to go make you a BLT. And he goes, okay. So I went inside, and Olivia was really kind of chit-chatting and kind of um, annoying me, to be honest with you, and was talking about some kind of chair. And I'm like, I don't know, Livy, just go find it, okay? And so I go in the kitchen, and I look up, and she had found a chair to go sit by her grandpa. Here's the thing about my 90-year-old, 99-year-old grandpa, and you've got to hear a lot of these stories, but in the last year, he's really questioned who he is. He's really questioned who God is. In the course of his life, he's done a lot of really awesome things, but he's really kind of been really ornery too at times. Um, he's snapped at people. He's maybe been ungrateful. Then other times, he's just like the nicest guy I've ever met. But you know, my little three-year-old didn't care about any of that. She didn't care that when she went and sat by him, he didn't look and think it was as adorable as I did. She didn't care. She didn't care that cancer's taken a piece of his ear away, that bothers him and might bother other people. She didn't care. She didn't care that, you know, they didn't have a long conversation. She just wanted to sit by her grandpa and be in his presence. And in a lot of ways, you could look at the things he's gone through and go, it's been a rough year. It's a little bit of a mess. But she didn't care. She doesn't care at all. She just wanted to be in his presence. And what a beautiful picture of how our Heavenly Father is with us. He does not care that your life is messy right now. He doesn't care that maybe you actually got it together. He just wants to be in your presence. He just wants to be with you. And he wants to offer a word of encouragement to you. And maybe it's not even saying much. Maybe it's just you know that he's beside you. But what an amazing gift that is to know the creator of the universe just wants to be with me, loves me for who I am, sees all my scars, sees all my failures, and still wants to sit with me. How can we not go out and be that to other people? How can we not sit with someone in their mess and love them anyway? And say, I'm laying aside my opinion of how it could have been, should have been. I just want to be with you. Because I love you for no other reason than I've been loved. Why should I not love someone else? I've been forgiven. Why should I not forgive someone else? I've been set free. Why should I not encourage someone on their path of being set free? 